Welcome to Analysis Prime University. My name is Michael Quinn, and I am a Senior Analytics Training Consultant with Analysis Prime University. In SAP Analytics Cloud, you can create different calculations based on existing measures, dimensions, and formula functions. There are two broad categories in which custom calculations can be created, story-based calculations and model-based calculations. Model-based calculations are created directly in the model and are available in all stories built from that model. In this tutorial, you will learn how to access the calculations workspace in a model, how to use the workspace to create a custom calculation, how to use functions help for assistance in writing formulas, including examples, and how to use the properties panel to configure and format your results. When building model-based calculations, there are two ways you can approach it. One is through the advanced formula editor. The other is through the calculations workspace. Both will accomplish the same goal, but for this tutorial, we're going to use the calculations workspace. Currently, we are looking at our model structure workspace. So we will select the dropdown and then choose calculations. In the calculations workspace, there are several areas. This one in the middle is your formula bar. This is the section where you will write your calculations. Notice the functions help button. We'll come back to that in just a second. Over on the right is the properties panel. And the properties panel allows you to format and configure the results accordingly. On the bottom is a preview panel. The preview panel will allow you to see a preview of the data based on the calculation that you are actively building. For our tutorial, we're going to add an account member to calculate net income. So we will go up to edit and select add account member. In the properties panel, we will label that member ID net income. And it is always important to add a description so that you can reference it later. And for this calculation, we're going to do revenue minus expenses. Moving back over to the formula section, if you select functions help, you'll get a listing of all of the functions available to you. And when you click on one, it will also give you information about that function. It'll give you the syntax as well as an example and how you could use it. You can also get the functions help if you are in the formula bar and you click on control space, it will give you the same. So again, here is a function. Here's the syntax behind it, gives you an example and any other comments. For our calculation in the formula bar, you can simply just start typing what it is that you want to use. So we were going to use revenue. And here is revenue. And then we are going to subtract expenses. We received an indicator that the formula is valid. And in the preview panel, we can see what our results would look like. In this tutorial, you learned how to access the calculations workspace in a model, how to use the workspace to create a custom calculation, how to use functions help for assistance in writing formulas, including examples and notes, and how to use the properties panel to configure and format your results. Thank you for watching.
If you enjoyed this tutorial, click the like button below. You can also view our growing catalog of self-paced courses, tutorials, webinars, and join the community forum by creating your free account at analysisprimeuniversity.com.